Um, Donald Trump, would you like to respond to that? Um, I mean, uh, again, those emails were all set up and on basically on basically untruthful and all all that, and she and they're all lies. Okay. Secretary Clinton, would you like to respond to the fact that Donald Trump has said that your emails were all lies? No, you pass on that? Okay. Um, let's turn to our audience now. Fact checker who would like to um, share um, some information about that. Yes, Ms. Engelman. Um, Hillary Clinton, all her lies are to persuade herself not to con not to start confusion yes jake um what donald trump said about them being lies technically in my opinion they were but at the same time clinton should not have used a private server Breaking a little with the tradition of the debate, we are now asking audience members to ask the candidates questions. Yes, Ms. Ipsen? Um, I would like to know what are their stances on immigration and how they will handle the problem. Okay, very good. We will start first with um, Secretary Clinton. The question is, how would you handle immigration? Well, I, I would not build a wall. <laughs> and... Um, I would let them come in. Okay, Donald Trump, you have a time to respond. Um, <laughs> I will build a wall. <laughs> and, um, I mean, basically just to separate the all the immigration from coming in. And, I mean, I will basically just, all I will do is I will make them, um, <laughs> Make them like sign or become actual citizens of this country. Okay. Our next question is from Miss Abigail Breitenbach. How are you guys gonna stop um, like warfare? Okay. The question is, how are you going to stop warfare, Mr. Trump? We'll begin to you first. Well, as I will. I mean, warfare is big, big. Um, <laughs> it's a really big topic, and especially for my party, um, we don't really go to ending war. Um, but I will say that ending warfare will be one of my goals that I would try to make possible if that's what Congress. Okay, wants. Secretary Clinton, Hello, you have a time for a rebuttal. Two minutes. I will try. To stop war unless it is like absolutely needed. How will you deal with terrorism that from other countries that affects USA? Okay, question. How will you deal with terrorism that affects the USA? This time we start with Secretary Clinton. I will work with terrorism by making security better and um yeah okay and Donald Trump your rebuttal two minutes well bye bye well I will end terrorism by killing all the terrorists and their families and yes are you serious right now what did you say Trump. Okay, is that your complete yeah. answer? You have 20 more seconds. So, I'm past. Hello, this is Monica Ipsen from Channel 5 News. We are reporting here at the election, uh, at the presidential election, on um, the first presidential election. And we have many protesters of with Trump and against. Okay. Hello, this is a reporter for Good. Welcome to Hofstra University for tonight's presidential debate between President Donald from candidate Donald Trump and Secretary Hillary Clinton. Um, who has our first question for the candidates? Mr. Smith. Um so it 
this is for both of you. If if and when you take um the place of Barack Obama, what will you do to make America great again? Okay. This one, because the coin toss was given to Secretary Clinton, she will start. I'll make America great again by um, getting rid of terrorism and get, getting more women firefighters and police officers. Okay, Mr. Trump? Um, as we all know, we have almost $20 trillion in debt, and that is very, very bad for America. And we have to raise our economy. Okay, we and have fact checkers here letting us know that we can have all of our claims, evidence, reasoning, and counter arguments be truthful. The question would be more, are you, what is your plan to deal with terrorists? And Mr. Trump will begin with you. Number one, we are first going to have to focus on the terrorists not getting to us and hold back our defense. And to solve it, number one, we're not going to stand back and be passive. We are going to have to show that we're not messing around and also start negotiating and finding out what they, what their entire main is and see if we can make a deal out of diplomacy. Okay, Secretary Clinton, your response. Uh, well, first of all, um, this is not really a response, but if you... If you were president, every person in the world would be dead. Um. <laughs> okay. I have a question. Response, Donald Trump? Uh, number one, that is not true. Okay. Secretary Clinton, anything else? Think about it this way. In one of the past debates, you said you were going to make the Mexicans build a wall. How are you even going to do that? Savages. Well, I pass. Monica Ibsen at Channel 9 News. Here, um, I have a question for the candidates. What are they going to do for civil rights? Well, um, so I'm going to, for black, this is for black people, next I'll do gay people. But for black people, what we should do is, um, I believe that we should find the people that are like, like that, that are killing the black people or gay people, whatever one, and like not not kill them obviously because that would be us being assassins, but <laughs> but at least like giving them like jail time or something like that. And for gay people, what happened in Orlando was a terrible thing, and it should never have happened. Okay, Donald Trump, your response to that? Well. Just to start out, you had no solution to how you're going to solve gay rights. Okay, we have a question from Mr. Titus Smith. Which, uh, this is more for Donald Trump and some for Hillary, but the emails, what do you think of the emails and what, what do, you have, do you have to say to America? Okay, the emails, that should be 100%. Hillary should not be president. Whoa, the no. man, the man, the man who Hillary said to set up the illegal server for Hillary to have a private email is not showing that Hillary should be president because she's keeping secrets and that should prove that she's not open to the citizens if she was president and that she does not have the right to be okay, president. Okay, Secretary Clinton, your response? Well, as you can see, Mr. Trump, you're talking about me hiding stuff. When you have, like, billions of dollars in debt from making casinos from other people using their money, making millions of dollars off of it, then, then, have, then never paying them back when they go bankrupt. And you're and when I made those servers, it was it was not on purpose. It was an accident, and I am sorry. But that was not wrong. <laughs> wrong. Why aren't your allergies acting up? You haven't been doing this too much. <laughs> okay. Would you care to respond to that question about your health, Response, from Secretary Clinton? I will release all my private data once you release all your 33,000 deleted private emails. Okay, Secretary Clinton, any response to that? Uh, I never had 30,000 private emails. And I, well, you're talking about 30,000 for me. You got like $30 billion in that. 
Okay. And our final question for the candidates? Me. Would you support would you support the other candidate if they became um, president of the United States and would you allow them to do that? Okay. Donald Trump, your response first, please. I would not support I would not support Hillary if she became president because she would be a bad choice for the US. Okay. Secretary I Clinton. Would not, I would not uh, support Trump. Um, because he's gonna build a wall, and he he's wall. just a horrible president. Wrong. Okay, <laughs> so, a fact checker. Can we have a fact checker on that exchange? Anybody? Okay, any other fact checkers on that? Oh, right here. Okay. Fact checker. I think that Donald Trump should not be doing what he's doing. I think they are friends in the beginning. They gave him money. But he thinks that just a small loan of a million dollars will get through to this. No, we cannot stop the terrorists by building a wall. We cannot stop immigration. We have to go through with it. Hillary for president! Okay. Yeah. A response from a Donald Trump supporter, please. Trump, we have some Trump supporters. Any responses?